overhauling the stuffing box on 42 to 98 MC engines. Dismount the cylinder cover. See Instruction Book, Volume 2, Procedure 901. Loosen the stuffing box and piston rod foot. Mount distance pieces to protect the stuffing box. The telescopic pipe is fitted either to the guide shoe or to the crosshead pin. If the telescopic pipe is fitted to the crosshead pin, it must be disconnected and suspended before removing the piston and piston rod. Ensure that wear ridges are smoothed out and that any carbon deposits are removed. Also make sure that the piston cleaning ring, if installed, is removed from the top of the cylinder liner. Mount the lifting tool and lift the piston with piston rod and stuffing box out of the engine. Place protective covers over the crosshead and in the bottom of the cylinder unit. Remove the cover from the cutout in the gallery floor plate and land the piston on the support tool. Before starting the overhaul, tape a new O-ring to the piston rod above the stuffing box housing. Insert lifting eye bolts and lift the stuffing box to a comfortable working height. Mount the work table around the piston rod. Remove and discard the O-ring. Loosen and remove the assembling bolts and the fitted bolts. Remove the stuffing box halves. Do not use a chisel to separate the halves as this will damage the contact faces. Press all sealing rings and scraper rings down towards the work table. Push the segments together so that the total ring end clearance can be measured at one point. Measure and record the clearances and compare them with the wear limits given in the instruction book. Connect the hooking tool. Remove the springs and segments and keep them together in the same position as when they are fitted in the stuffing box.
clean and inspect any segments which are to be used again. The stuffing box is so designed that it has the same time between overhauls as the piston. The lamellas are normally due for replacement at each overhaul, while the ceiling rings normally only need to be replaced at every other overhaul. After cleaning, insert all segments in their respective grooves in the housing and measure the vertical clearance with a feeler gauge. See Instruction Book, Volume 2, Procedure 902. Check the calibration of the springs. See Instruction Book, Volume 2, Procedure 902. Check the surface condition and the diameter of the piston rod. Record the results for example on this inspection report which is available from MAN B&W Diesel. Lubricate the piston rod with molybdenum disulfide. Check that the lamellas can be moved. Remove any burrs which may have been caused during the measuring of the ring end clearance from the ends of the segments. Assemble all ring units, making sure that the markings on the various segments match each other. To facilitate the mounting of the springs, cross your arms before connecting the hooking tools. Remove any burrs from the ends of the segments. Make sure that the guide pin between the ceiling ring and the cover ring engages correctly. Lift all the rings up the piston rod and use the stuffing box halves to adjust the rings so that they fit properly in the grooves. Ensure that the ring end clearance is evenly distributed all the way round. Apply lubricating oil to the segments and to the housing. Press the stuffing box halves into place around the segments. Adjust the torque spanner to the value given in the instruction book. Finally, tighten the nuts to the required torque and mount the O-ring in the groove in the housing.
Make sure that the guide pins on the distance pieces engage correctly with the stuffing box. Making sure the cylinder liner is clean, mount the piston with piston rod and stuffing box as described in the instruction book. Reinstall the cover on the gallery floor plate. Remove the protective cover in the bottom of the cylinder unit. Carefully clean oil and sludge from the stuffing box flange to ensure the correct contact between the stuffing box and the flange. Remove the protective cover from the crosshead as late as possible. Finally, secure the piston rod foot, stuffing box and telescopic pipe and mount the cylinder cover.